Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you guys are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, I am going to be filming an honest life update. I like doing these update videos every now and again, just to let you guys know on what's been going on and chat with you guys about some of the not so fun stuff that goes on in life and just the way that you feel. I feel like it's never fun to talk about that kind of stuff, but I also think that it's very good to talk about it as well, and sometimes is therapeutic in a way. So I enjoy sitting down and just chatting about my feelings and letting you guys know how everything's been going. So I'm going to be going over just pretty much a recap of this year and how I feel like 2019 went for the most part. I also have a few other things to chat with you guys about, so grab a snack, grab a drink, and get comfy because this video is probably going to be on the longer side. I did write down a few topics to talk about on my notepad just so that I could sort of keep on track, but for the most part, I'm just going to be speaking from the heart and speaking from what comes to mind and what I want to chat with you guys about. So starting off with the recap of this year, I feel like overall, 2019 wasn't the most horrible year, but it definitely wasn't like the best year either. It was kind of just mediocre in my opinion. I'm definitely very ready for 2019 to be over. I feel like some unfortunate things definitely have happened this year, but there's also been a lot of highs as well. There's been a lot of awesome moments that I'm definitely grateful for, but I'm definitely very ready for 2020 to have a clean start and just kind of have that new refresh to be able to restart and have new goals for the new year. But going back to the recap of this year, I did turn 25 almost halfway through the year. My birthday is May 21st and my birthday was absolutely awesome. I went to Mexico and it was such a blast. I had so much fun with my family and it was overall a really good time. I feel like the first like five and a half months of this year were pretty great like we traveled a lot we went to Europe and went to London and Paris which I'm sure you guys if you follow me on Instagram or anything you guys saw that I'm so so thankful for that trip and just so grateful that I even had the opportunity to do that we did go to Arizona as well to go visit family at the beginning of the year we usually go at least two or three times a year to go visit family out there. So like I said, the first five and a half to six months were really great. And then I feel like once I turned 25, it was that I am going through my quarter life crisis right now. And I made a video about that. I will leave it linked down below, which I'm probably gonna touch on some of the things that I talked about in that video. But 25 has just been really weird. I don't know if any of you guys can relate with that, but 25 has been really strange for me. And I feel like I've talked about it in a lot of videos, but it's just that sense of kind of panic and anxiety sometimes where you feel like you're running out of time, even though a lot of people will tell you that you're crazy and you're not running out of time, but it's just that very odd feeling of knowing that you're 25 and there's so many things I feel like I want to do in 10 years, but I think back to like 10 years ago and I'm like, oh my gosh, that just felt like yesterday that I was in high school and going through a very miserable point of my life, may I add, 10 years ago, but I have mentioned that I feel like I'm at a point in my life where I can't control anything. Um, up until this point, I've been able to control everything that I've quote unquote wanted or my goals, I guess. Um, so in this point of my life, I feel like I'm just kind of like waiting for things to fall together. And I feel like I've been waiting for <laughs> like five years now. And it's also hard just talking to people about it because I feel like when you talk to others about it that aren't going through the same thing as you, it's easier for them to say that oh, it's okay, in time it'll happen, you know, everything will fall together, and when you're least expecting it, it'll happen, and obviously I get that, but at the same time, I have to deal with getting asked almost on a daily basis from a lot of my clients at work, and, 
you know, just in general, I have a lot of people asking me questions. It is just kind of an overwhelming feeling when you feel like you're struggling with something and then you feel like on a almost a daily basis you get asked about it or it gets brought up or something, um, which I know that a lot of my clients aren't like meaning any harm by it, but it is still really hard. Knowing that I'm not running out of time yet, um, I think is a big thing that I have to keep reminding myself. The feeling of not being in control of a portion of your life, I think is the hardest part. Um, and I think I'm always gonna struggle with that until the day comes where I feel like that portion of my life is, is figured out, I guess, quote unquote, I don't know. I feel like your life is never fully figured out and you'll always have an aspect of your life that isn't. I also feel like I have become extremely okay with being alone, almost like too much okay. So giving my time to someone is just very like odd to me. So I think I need to get that kind of figured out as well. As you guys know, I also got in my car crash, which I did make a video about that. That was back in September. I feel like my car crash really changed a lot of things, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I feel like for the most part, I'm okay um, from my car crash, but there are certain days where emotionally it's not like the best. I feel like I definitely struggle with that a little bit just because when you get into any kind of accident um, where things could have been like a lot worse than they were, I feel like you tend to think like what if, like what if it went way worse than, than it did. Um, I definitely did not think I was going to get super emotional about this, but <sighs> okay. Anyways, what I was saying. Um, it's just kind of hard when you when you think back to whatever happened where you know it could have been a lot worse it's it's just kind of hard and it kind of messes with your mind a lot sometimes because you're like do you know wow i'm super freaking lucky and blessed that it wasn't worse than it was but it could have been a lot worse and what if that was my time and it kind of makes you obviously more grateful to be alive and like thankful that it wasn't worse but also, it's just like it puts life in perspective of holy shit, like I could have, that could have been my last day, like I could have not walked away. And it's like, it kind of makes you think like all the other problems that you have in life, like they don't matter. They really don't. Like there's a lot of stuff, like I have such an amazing family, I have awesome friends, like there's obviously issues that are going to be going on in your life and things that you're going to be struggling with, but I feel like it's so important, important for me especially, to just like keep remembering, like I have so much to freaking be grateful for, like an overwhelming amount of things. It's just insane. And sometimes my friends have to like, or my family have to like 100% remind me of that. Like emotional wise, it's definitely been hard, which I talked about in a couple of my last videos, um, which, Honestly, if you guys knew me in real life, I I wouldn't say I'm like a super emotional person. Like I hate, I absolutely hate, hate, hate crying around people. Like even in situations where it is 100% okay to cry, like at a funeral or in like a really sad movie, I just, it's always made me feel so uncomfortable. Like I will do everything in my power to like not cry around people even if I want to, which is funny because I'm freaking getting emotional in this video, but no one's around, so it's okay, even though you guys are watching this, but I've always struggled with that because I just, I feel like I don't want people to see me be weak, I guess, as stupid as that sounds. I also haven't updated you guys on what's happened, um, like injury-wise from my car crash. I feel like, for the most part, everything has been fine, thankfully, again, but I am actually having to go to physical therapy now because I do have bursitis in my hip that was determined probably a couple months ago now. It was really painful in the beginning, and I just kind of laugh about it because, like, 80-year-olds have 
bursitis like it's very common in older people because you have to have some type of trauma for it to occur so I kind of just laugh at that because I have a lot of issues like back problems and stuff where I'm like I feel like I'm an 80 year old living in a 25 year old and honestly I feel like in 2020 I just need to like kick my ass a year like I need to finally actually buckle down and do what I want to do and do what's best for me. Um, in the new year, I 100% want to get healthier than I am. This year, I have been incredibly unhealthy. I think I've gone to the gym maybe a handful of times, if that. Um, I went to the gym to go to the pool almost every single weekend over the summer, but I never actually went to work out but I do want to start going. The other thing that I want to do, obviously going right along with getting healthier and working out is eating healthy. My diet has been absolute shit this year, if I'm being honest, for the past few years probably, my whole life. I just, I've never been great about eating healthy, so I definitely want to find new ways on how to eat healthy, find new recipes, um, that I can make and meal prep too, just so that I feel like I'm not having to get lunch at work every day. Um, the other big thing that I want to do is start counseling. I have gone to like, I feel like a few counseling appointments over my years, and I feel like this year I really just want to dive into bettering my mental health. And I feel like going to counseling is nothing to be ashamed of. If anything, it should be celebrated because you are putting your mental health and your health in general first. YouTube has been kind of interesting as well. I feel like this year it's been going pretty well. Um, it hasn't been any like crazy things happen. Uh, I feel like it's just kind of real steady, but I definitely have had some days where I have some lack of inspiration and motivation. I have taken like the last week off just because I felt like last weekend I kind of had a lot going on, not in like a bad sense, but just like hanging out with friends and hanging out with family and getting stuff done. It definitely takes up a lot of my time and I know so many people think YouTube is just this easy thing where, you know, you're not gonna have to do a ton of work, but it is. I work a full-time job, if you guys didn't know. I work about 38 hours a week and on the weekends, I film YouTube videos and edit throughout the week as well. So I try to have two videos out a week for you guys and it's just been a little hard. <laughs> to even get that out for you guys because I just feel like I haven't been having a ton of inspiration of videos to film. I haven't been having motivation to do it. I have really been enjoying just having my weekend and not having to worry about filming and editing and all of this stuff, but I definitely am feeling re-motivated again. I feel like I also need to write down and brainstorm ideas of videos that I wanna film. If you guys have any ideas, please leave them down below. I always love getting inspiration from you guys and what you guys wanna see. I think the moral of this update and what I try to tell you guys in every single one of my life updates is it's okay to not be okay. There's a lot of days where you're not gonna be okay and that's totally fine. I also feel like it's great to acknowledge what you're feeling, but also know that you shouldn't stay in a state of, you know, sadness or depression for too long without either A, getting help or kicking your ass in gear and really, you know, figuring out what you need to do to get to a point where you're not going to be in that place anymore. So that is pretty much all of my update. I feel like this has been a very long video. It's been over 20 minutes. I'll probably edit this down, hopefully, to like 15. But everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to work out. That is just what we have to keep telling ourselves because that is what is going to happen, even if it doesn't seem like it now. I hope that this update video wasn't too boring for you guys. I'm sorry I got emotional throughout part of it, but some of the things that I struggle with are obviously not the funnest things to talk about. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being here and supporting me over the many, many years I've been here on YouTube. I plan to stay here as long as you guys allow me to. Again, thank you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, Stim Revelous. Mm -hmm.